Hi, I'm Jim McGregor from Curious Research, and we're here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. Um, and we're recording some videos of some of the most interesting demos and new technologies that we're seeing. So I hope you enjoy them. I'm McGregor, Curious Research. I'm here with Vinay at the Vodafone booth. And obviously, one of the biggest topics here at MWC has been Open RAN. And we're finally getting to a point where we're looking at implementations for Open RAN. And Edge Q as the first layer one DU implementation. So Vinay, you want to tell us a little bit about it and why it's so significant and why you won the awards on it, by the way. Congratulations. Yeah, on the award, yeah, we won the CTO award. Super humbled and uh, amazing uh, that a small company like this won. Uh, but uh, it's testament to the team and testament to the company. Uh, but today what we're showing here is a layer one acceleration card uh, open RAN acceleration card. This is what we call a DU. Uh, so there's two HQ chips and a PCIe form factor. This thing is running, if you see over here, uh, a live 32 antenna system. Uh, and you'll see the, the traffic go from a gigabit all the way to four gigabits per second. And this is world's first inline acceleration card in, in Open RAN period. We're the first ones to do that. Uh, and it's all running at, you can see that power being measured. It's in the 14 to 15 watts, which is super, super low power. That's impressive. Yeah, it's a fraction of a power compared to anybody out there. Um, and EdgeQ has two types of solutions for 5G, one is a, a open RAN DU, another is an all-in-one small cell. Okay, and now this is actually running live. So this is actually running live, that's over server here. server running down here. Right there, and uh, you can see there's a, a fiber cable coming out, so that goes to a uh, an emulator of, that emulates an RU. Yeah. Uh, that's from Keysight Test Equipment. So that's basically, think of that so over the there as the RU, up there. right there. And the bottom of that tower would be what you see over here. Yep. That's the uh, idea. And this thing is running not just layer one, but it's also running layer two, layer three software. So oh, essentially okay. the entire base station is, uh, is in that little box over there. That's impressive. And what's the power of the entire box, do you think? So this shows uh, the that power is, right here. It's okay. the card power is 32 watts. Yeah. Um, not the whole box in the sense that there's other things on the box. But uh, this includes power for the memory or, you know, these other smaller peripherals. Uh, half of that power is for the card, but it's pumping out. Um, here it's one gigabit, but it'll pump out up to three. So this thing will go up and down, up and down, but up to 3.6 gigabits per second, consuming less than 15 and watts. Traditionally, we would have been looking typically a couple hundred watts. Hundreds of watts. Yes, exactly. That's right. That's okay. right. That's right. Okay. And uh, this is... Uh, it architecturally is a very very modern uh, implementation compared to other uh, chips out there. So this, you know, we use RISC-V uh, yeah. processors. We've made our own uh, CPU out of it, uh, accelerated a bunch of the 5G functions. So it's soft, but it is accelerated at the same time in a way where power really is brought down. We, n we didn't rely on Moore's Law to use a very aggressive node, but instead we said architectural innovation is much more important here. And that's what we've done. Uh, and so we have a lot of room to bring the power down even further. And that's something that we're working on for our next generation. You know, and it's funny because that's one of the things I'm noticing at the show too. Some of the more innovative silicon solutions are actually based on RISC-V. Yes. So yeah. we're seeing that as kind of this open RAN transition. Yeah, Risk Five is a, it's just an amazing technology. It's you know royalty free. That's a big thing, right? We don't have to pay anybody any royalty. But then I get to change the CPU. It's not easy to change other architectures because yeah. those are owned by some commercial companies. They won't let you change them. Here, I can modify that CPU for my own use. So I can make a base station CPU all of a sudden. Uh, that's not something you can do normally with other architectures. So with Risk Five, we've taken Risk Five. There's like 60 different cores inside each of these chips and we've modified the instruction set so that it's very efficient for base stations for example as well and in, in it, it also does ai at the same time that's the other thing that when you combine them it's a very powerful solution 
Well, congratulations again. This is an achievement and also on the award being recognized by the by your peers here. Yeah, yeah, we got two awards. One is the yeah, is the CTO Choice Award, which is chosen by 20 CTOs. Uh, uh, I think the finalists were us, Huawei, Rakuten, China Mobile. And I'm just blown away that we won, <laughs> honestly, with those kinds of people around us. Uh, we also won another one uh, for the best technology for a company that's less than $10 million of revenue, so basically startups. Uh, so yeah, we got both of those. I'm super happy this week. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please remember that Curious Research is a market research and advisory firm. If you want any information about us, please contact us directly at curiousresearch.com or at any of our email addresses. That's Jim, Kevin, Steve, or Francis at curiousresearch.com.